Here's our barbecue database again, and all I've done is I've ordered it by count descending so that those phrases at the top are the ones in the most demand. We saw this exactly the same thing when we were doing the main pages earlier, and this allows us to choose the most in-demand phrases, which tend to be the better ones for main pages or categories on your website. So, for example, you might want a category called charcoal grills, another category called barbecue smokers. You might want a category called outdoor grills, although um, some of these other categories will fall into that category anyway. Um, charcoal grills, we've already got charcoal grill barbecue pits. Um, natural gas grill, we've got natural gas grills up here, so we can forget that one. Um, we can keep going down. Electric grills, we might want portable gas grills, and so on. So that what we're doing here is we are finding the keywords that encompass the entire niche. And what you can do with these is, as I've said, set up categories. So a category on barbecue smoker, a category on barbecue pits, a category on natural gas grills, and you'll have a main page for this particular category, and then you'll have a number of articles all on barbecue smokers, which all point back to the main page. So you can build one large site in this way by selecting those keywords, ordering first by count descending, and selecting those keyword phrases in the list at the top, the ones with the highest demand that encompass the niche. And what I would probably also do is if I, let's just go back again to the selected um, categories. Let's have a look at barbecue smokers. If we're going to have these as categories, in other words, we're going to have a number of articles in each of these categories, uh, together with a main page called barbecue smokers. If we're going to do that, we need to make sure that there is enough um, keyword phrases related to barbecue smokers. So one thing I would do is I just type in um, smoker filter, and as we see, saw in an earlier video, we've got 99 phrases related to smokers. So um, we're sure that we've got enough content that we can actually build a section on our website called Barbecue Smokers. Let's just take another example. Let me just clear the search phrase, go back to our blues, and have a look at natural gas. Let's go over to the advanced filter and search for all those phrases with natural and gas in them. And if I just move this out of the way, you can see here that we've got 95 phrases um, with natural and gas in them. So again, natural gas is going to be a good category to have on our website. So you see that by ordering by count, picking out those that those phrases that encompass the niche, we're actually building categories that we can add a lot of content to. And the idea here is to have a main page on for example, natural gas grills, which will pre-sell the natural gas grills, and then a lot of content within the natural gas grills category, which all links back to that main page. So KRA Pro is the ideal tool for finding um, categories for building one large, huge site on barbecues or any niche that you want. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how we would use this tool to build smaller niche sites.